Hey everybody, it's Nick here. Um, I just wanted to show you one weird thing I noticed with my Wolf Pup trailer, which I think is a thing for all of the Wolf Pup line. Let me give you a, a little tour of this uh, water, uh, freshwater tank vent situation. So most freshwater tanks on a trailer have a, a usually a vent attached to them, which then comes up to your little fill port here. That vent hole is actually siliconed from the inside um, through from the little inlet that a hose is supposed to be attached to. That allows um, air to replace the uh, space that the water once occupied as you use the tank so you don't create a vacuum. So the problem that I was facing is I have a 26 gallon tank in my Wolf Pup 16 TS and I would get about to 22 gallons or so before water would start coming out of that little um, elbow. Uh, that's on, and in my case, it's a little elbow that's attached to the top of the tank. There's no hose attached to it. It's just an elbow. So right now there's no hose attached to the screen at all and I would have water start coming out the little elbow. So I thought that the tank was full until I put a little water meter on there and was actually able to see I was only getting 22 gallons. Uh, so what was happening is that elbow is located slightly below the top of the tank. So there's no way you're gonna be able to fill your tank up full each time. So I went in and uh, what I call finished the installation from Forest River and ran a half inch ID vinyl tube from that vent uh, on the tank up into the trailer and then attached it to the backside here of this screen so I have a proper vent. So let me show you what this looks like. If you go under the trailer, and again, this is just my trailer. I'm pretty sure all the wolf pups are like this, so this is something you might wanna check out. <clears throat> but um, right here at the top of the tank, if I show you, here at the top of the tank is this little um, plastic fitting. Now, normally this hose is not attached, right? So this is what I was talking about. It's just a little elbow that comes out at the top of the tank here. So I attached this vinyl tube and then ran it up into the trailer with all the other hoses um, and then connected it to that screen like I was talking about. So let me go inside here and show you what it looks like from the inside. Okay, so when the hose comes up from underneath the trailer, which is right here, this is the vinyl hose I put in here. It comes up uh, through the trailer and then gets put right onto the little vent screen with that hose clamp where it's supposed to be. So now the tank can vent uh, properly, which means you can actually fill it to its full capacity, which is what I did. So basically, again, I attached the hose to the little L um, elbow down below, ran it up through the trailer, which means I did have to carve away some of the uh, foam sealer there but it's pretty simple. It's carved away just enough to stick the hose through, uh, the tubing through. Stick the tubing through and then reseal it back up and no big deal. And then attach it on to the vent screen and you're all ready to go. So I tested that out. I was able to fill my tank to its full 26 gallon capacity. And as you start getting towards the top, you actually hear that water start coming up the main inlet tube there, um, this, uh, this tube right here. You start to actually hear that water as it starts getting full. So if you were to overflow, you would actually have water come out of the, either that tube, which is the water you're coming in, or it would come out of the vent tube. So that's it. So that's, it's a quick, like maybe 10 minute installation. Um, basically the tubing, some pipe clamps or hose, uh, hose clamps, and then some uh, sealer foam and your problem solved and you'll be able to fill your tanks up completely. Uh, one thing that I noticed uh, is a potential issue is if you fill your tank up to the point where that vent um, where that little elbow is and, and you don't have it, um, the hose run up to the vent, you have the potential to have a, a siphoning effect. So you'll fill your tank to what you think is full and you'll drive and then all of a sudden you have half the tank kit you thought you had. <laughs> so um, this is a quick installation and I'm, I'm pretty sure most of the wolf pups are like this. So I guess the question is, um, why do they do that? I have no idea. Um, I, I, like I said before, I know these are like kind of inexpensive trailers and they kind of skip some stuff, but Anyway, if you have any questions, let me know.